Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I have some exciting news in the electric vehicle space. Ola Electric has just launched two brand new electric scooters, the Ola Geek and Ola Geek Plus. They are not just e-scooters that are designed specially for gig workers and commercial use. If you are someone who works for food delivery, e-commerce courier service or any ride sharing platform then this might be the perfect vehicle for you. So stay around till the end because I will be sharing everything you need to know from design, from features to battery range and pricing. So for all the details, make sure to watch the full video. Now why did Ola introduce the Geek series? Well, as the name suggests, it means for the Geek workers. People who rely on two-wheelers for their daily earnings, whether you are a Swiggy or Zomato delivery partner working for Blinkit or Duanzo, or just needed a reliable and budget-friendly e-scooter for work, this could be a game-changer. Ola has launched two variants of this model, the Ola Geek, which is perfect for short-distance riders, and the Ola Geek Plus, which is built for long-distance riders. So depending on your work, you can choose the one that best suits your needs. Talking about the design, the Ola Geek has a very simple and practical approach. It made for work, not for luxury. The scooter comes with a big single seat that ensures riders' comfort and a rear carrier which is perfect for loading parcel, delivery bags or any other cargo. It has 12-inch wheels which give better stability on road which is super important for people who are constantly riding this in city traffic. The Geek Plus has a slightly different look with additional body panels but overall both models are designed to be functional, lightweight and easy to use. Now let's talk about performance. These scooters are not built for racing, but they are perfect for city commuting. The Ola Geek comes with a 250 watt motor which gives it a top speed of 25 km per hour. The best part is since it stays under the speed limit, you don't have to register it. Just buy it and start riding without any paperwork hassle. On the other hand, the Ola Geek Plus is slightly more powerful that has a 1.5 kWh hub motor, which gives it a top speed of 45 km per hour. So if your work requires more speed and efficiency for longer routes, the Geek Plus would be the better option for you. One of the biggest highlights of this scooter is the removable battery system. Unlike fixed battery scooters, where you need to find a charging station, this comes with a swappable 1.5 kW battery pack, which means you can simply remove the battery and charge it at home. This is a huge advantage for delivery riders because they don't have to waste time finding charging stations. If you are out on the road and running low on battery, you can swap it with a charged battery in a station in just a few minutes. The Ola Geek offers a range of 112 km with a single battery, while the Geek Plus gives 81 km with just one battery and 157 km when you use dual battery setup. This flexibility makes it the fantastic choice for people who are always on the go. Now let's talk about the most important part, pricing and availability. The Ola Geek has been launched at an affordable price of 39,999 excellent price that make it one of the cheapest electric scooters available for commercial use. The Ola Geek Plus slightly higher priced at 49,999 Exorum, but considering its extra power and better range, it's still a great deal. At these prices, Ola is making electric scooters more accessible and the masses, especially for delivery riders and small business owners. The best part is the savings. Compared to the petrol scooters which requires fuel, larger maintenance and higher cost, this electric scooter can help you save more than 6,000 per month in fuel expenses alone. If you're interested, bookings are already open and deliveries are set to begin in April 2025. So if you are looking for an affordable and reliable electric scooter for work, this is your chance to grab one. So this is the video for now. What is your thought on this model? Please mention that on the comment box below. Until next time, be safe, ride safe.